Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and good morning. Today I would like to speak to you about the name of Hebron, its meaning its connection to the Spirit, its connection to the fathers, to Joseph, to Jacob, the relation between matter and spirit. So to open up slowly this conversation, we shall start with mentioning and explaining the Hebrew name of Hebron. The name Hebron is written with five letters, Chet, Bet, Resh, Vav, Nun, Chevron. The stem letters are three, Chet, Bet, Resh, which means to connect, Lechaber, as a verb, or as a noun, Chaver, a friend. So, in the name of Chevron, we meet two concepts. One is friendship, and the other one is connection. The sages in the book of Zohar are saying, are stating, that the Torah, the five books of Moses, are also named Hevron. And the question is why? And the answer that they give is simple. Everyone who reads the Torah reads the five books of Moses is a friend because he's trying to connect to something which is higher because the Torah is the mirror of the spirit and everybody who reads the Torah he tries to connect to the spirit to communicate also to other people who read the Torah and try to communicate or being communicated by the spirit. So the name Hevron means to connect as a noun, to be a friend. Hevron is the name not just of an ancient city in the land of Canaan, but also is a synonym to the Torah. The Torah, the five books of Moses are called Hevron because when people want to connect to the Spirit, they read the Torah. What is so special about Hebron that we keep thinking and talking about the name all the time? Because it's a very concrete junction in understanding the world of the spirit. The numeral value of the name Hebron is 266, meaning three digits, 266. If we look into those digits, we find interesting concept. 26, 2, 6 is 26 and 6. 26 double 6 gives us the volume of 156. 156 is the numeral value of the name Joseph. In Hebrew, Yosef. Yosef. This is why Jacob, while being in Egypt, asking Joseph to bury him, in the Machpelah cave in Hebron. Jacob had 12 children, 12 sons. He could ask any one of them to grant his burial in Hebron, theoretically. But practically, he turns to Joseph and asks specifically from Joseph to keep his last request to be buried with his fathers in Hebron. And the question is why? The answer is simple. Because Joseph, he is the only one who is capable to keep the father request. But there is another hidden secret in this special request, specifically from Joseph. The quality of his name. The name Joseph, which has the value of 156, is an expression of six times the tetragrammaton, one tetragrammaton, the name with the four letters, 
Yod He Vav He has the volume of 26. So six times the Tetragrammaton gives us the volume of Joseph. Joseph, according to the sages, is located on the tree of life in the sphere of foundation. In Hebrew, Yesod. Not just foundation, Yesod, but also Yesod holds the Sod. Sod in Hebrew is a secret. And Joseph is associated with this specific junction of secret of the ten. What is foundation in Hebrew, Yesod? Yod, the letter Yod, the volume of ten, is a secret. Meaning the one who finds the Yod, which is not just the tenth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, but also the covenant between heaven and earth, has the secret, has the inner understanding of things. And Joseph is associated with this quality, to find a covenant between heaven and earth whenever he is staying. This is why he can coexist in Egypt for 93 years of his life. So from him, as an owner of secret, as the sages say, Baal Sod, Jacob asked from Joseph to bury him in Hebron. Again, the volume or the quality, it's more inner quality than numeral value. We speak a lot about numbers, but those numbers are reflecting a quality, not just quantity. As Friedrich Weinreb explained in his book, Roots of the Bible. So what is the quality of Joseph or six time the Tetragrammaton? Sphere of foundation concentrates the light or the abundance of the six spheres of the tree of life. Chesed, grace, gevua, overcoming or courage, tiferet, beauty, eternity, netzach, royalty, hod, and foundation, yesod. Joseph has the capability to unite all of those illuminations together. He is the only one who can unite and connect things and influence them to the heavenly kingdom. Or he can grasp, so to speak, the spirit under his wings and bring them forth to the one who seek spirit. This is why he can coexist in Egypt and this is why he, he has the capability with the power of the Spirit to unite his Father with his last request. And I would like to mention this conversation, an interesting verse from the book of Numbers, Numbers 13. And Hebron was built seven years before Zoan, Egypt. What does this verse mean? What does it mean that Hebron was built seven years before Zoan, Egypt. Years, which are mentioned in the Bible, are not what we think as calendaric years. Like one year is the way that planet Earth circles the sun. One year is basically is one illumination one circle of planet Earth around the sun. It's one illumination, one year. So now when we read the sequences of time in the Bible, days, years, hours, we don't read them as scientifically today measured. Let's say one hour is 60 minutes or one month is so on. We read it in a spiritual lens. So what does it mean that Hebron was built seven years before Zoan Egypt? Hebron is built seven illumination. 
seven illuminations before Zohan Egypt. Egypt is the world of six, of duality, of six. It's like, so to speak, the letter Vav. Vav itself without any connection. It's like a bachelor. The word for bachelor in Hebrew is Ravak. Ravak. Resh. Vav. Kof. Ravak. People are asking in Hebrew, what does it mean to be a bachelor? Ravak. And the answer is simple. Rak. Vav. Only Vav. Only the six. Tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. No rest. A bachelor life. Parties, drinking, music, movies, no obligations, no relations. Tak, 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 tak. Rak vav. This is the life of Egypt. But the verse says, and Hebron was built seven years before Zoan Egypt. So Hebron has the advantage of what? Of one to the six of Egypt, we said before that Hebron, in its secret way, has six times the tetragrammaton. 266 is 26, double six, six times. And now how can we settle this fact with the verse that Hebron was built seven years before Zohan Egypt? What is the distance between six and and seven, the answer is one. If we add the one to the six, we get, so to speak, seven years or seven illumination. And everything that has a relation to the seven has a relation to the heaven because there is a rest in the seventh day. In Egypt, tick 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 cannot cannot rest, cannot find peace from conflicts, from arguments, from running. But Hebron was built seven years before. What does it mean seven years? The advantage of seven to six is one. There is a rest, there is a balance. Like we can rest in the seventh day, in the seventh day. Like the Ark of Noah rested in the seventh months. Again, months is illumination. There is a rest in the seven in a manner of year or months or day. There is a rest. This is also, this is another secret. Why David reigned or governed, reigned in Hebron seven years. First, to build the heavenly kingdom, the seven, this is the key, because David was governing or reigning Hebron seven years. And in Jerusalem, as a king of Israel, he reigned 33 years. And together, seven plus 33 gives us the volume of 40 years. I hope this conversation was not too hard to follow. If you have questions, please write to us. So this was our little conversation about Hebron, its meaning, Jacob, Joseph, the ability to connect to the spirit, the ability to hold a secret. Why Hebron was built seven years before Zoan Egypt? And why David reigned in Hebron seven years before he reigned Jerusalem. Wishing you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. 
We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.